What's up, riders? Welcome back for another one. As you can see, today's episode is about seats and the never-ending pursuit to find that one-size-fits-all seat. So these are the seats that I have over the course of the year with my Road King special. Um, I'm sure this one's familiar to everybody. Sat them in step up. I think it's a great seat. Not so great necessarily for two up over anything, I would say more than an hour, um, especially depending on the size of your passenger's rear. You have this one, I bought this one used. I believe this is the hammock seat, OEM Harley. When you talk about you want to go far and all that other stuff, you can see the size of the cushion. It's very soft. It's very plush and wide. So long distance, yeah, it's great. For me, necessarily, as somebody with shorter legs, not so much, but we'll get into that. And then we have this one here. This is the LaPera Outcast 2-Up uh, with the backrest. This is the most recent one I've got. I've got a couple hundred miles on it, so I've got a pretty good feeling for the seat here. So we'll go through it. I'll let you know my impressions, pros and cons. We'll show you what it looks like on the bike, as well as someone who is my height. I'm 5'9", I've got about a 30 inch inseam. So you can see as far as where my feet are, flat footing and things like that. So let's start with the saddleman. And you can certainly find all this information online, but just for point of reference, Looks like 11 and a half inches wide. Whereas the Lapera looks like it's maybe, you could probably call that 14 and three quarter, I'm sorry, 13 and three quarter, somewhere in that neighborhood. Then if we go down, if we go down to the hammock even wider so than that i don't know i'd probably say close to 17. so we talk about the passenger again from the widest part it's about 14 inches the widest part is in the front here like seven and a half and it tapers down to i don't know around the five and a half inch mark whereas with the lapera I don't know, we'll call that close to 12. And as far as seating area, I don't know, maybe around nine and a half in the back. So you can see, you know, some of the advantages. The LaPera seems to be, you know, in the middle of the spectrum of seats we have here. So we'll start to put them on the bike and uh, I'll show you what it looks like from the side and I'll show you what it looks like with me on it. Okay, on the bike right now, you see the saddleman seat. You know, good looking seat. Comfortable around the town riding. I've even taken it two and a half hours. And for me personally, it was fine. Passenger, not so much, but you can make do. So let's see what it looks like with me on it. Let me uh, back this up a little bit here. Guys can get a good view. So here I am, pretty even. You see how sitting in the seat, it's comfortable, good support right here. But I can tell you, my heels are nowhere to the ground. I'm pretty high up for my height which is not a big deal but you know if you're on loose gravel or something like that you know you want you definitely want better footing than what I have here let's change the seat out
Okay, hammock seat. See how big that is back here? I mean, look at this. You're talking lots of cushion. Shoot. About six inches. So obviously more comfortable, but also higher up. Now, less back support, softer seat, wider seat, but my feet are still elevated in the air. Not much different than the saddleman, I would say. It's kind of hard to tell because I have these boat kind of shoes. So it's not my boots, not my riding shoes. So it's not as exaggerated as you're seeing here, but yeah, you can see comfortably maybe just the tips of my toes are down when I'm sitting in a relaxed position. Okay, so last seat, La Para Outcast, two up. Give you guys a good view of that. Pretty good looking seat. Oops. Pretty good looking seat, super comfortable, right out the box. Whereas some of you may or may not know, the Saddleman's got that comfort gel. It takes a little while to break in, anywhere from 500 to 1,000 miles, I guess depending on how heavy you are and how often you ride. Um, mine took a couple of months to break in, but I do a lot of riding. You know, for reference, I've only had the bike for going on a year and I already, I already have 11,000 miles on it. So I put a lot of hours on in the chair um, but as you can see slim profile um, padding where it needs to be in reference to the passenger let me get on it and you guys can see backrest obviously has an advantage the other two don't but that's okay so yeah there you have it if you've made it this far we appreciate it. Please give us a like and subscribe. Helps the channel out. If you have any questions about the seats that I've shown you, about anything I've got going on with the Dyna, let me know if you've got any suggestions. I'd love to hear from you as well. And uh, appreciate you guys stopping by.